I'm Mia, AKA Sis Went Vegan, and I'm back with another tasty video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I make a fried cauliflower. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this does not taste like fried chicken, but it's, it tastes like a really good fried cauliflower. So for some people, it's a good substitution when you start to miss, you know, fried chicken and those deep fried foods. So let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. So first, I'm gonna take some almond milk, it's unsweetened, and I'm just gonna add a few tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Adding apple cider vinegar to it makes it turn into like a buttermilk consistency. I'm also gonna add some hot sauce to it. That will give it more flavor. So this is just our wet batter. I'm just gonna let that sit so it can turn into that buttermilk. And then we're gonna work on our dry ingredients. So here I have flour. To that, I'm gonna mix a little bit of cornstarch. <laughs> and then your dry seasonings. For the dry seasonings, I just have pepper, smoked paprika, oregano, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder. I don't like to use too much salt, but you can certainly add salt at this point. The Creole seasoning does have salt, so just be careful. I forgot to get a whisk. <laughs> so we're just gonna whisk this all together. So now we're gonna take the cauliflower and we're gonna turn it upside down and we're just gonna cut off the florets into bite-sized pieces. So once you take a bunch of it off, then you can just cut it into the bite-sized pieces that you like. This recipe is great for children. It's a good way to sneak in cauliflower. My son knew that it was cauliflower, but it for him was like nuggets. So he still really enjoyed it. made this recipe last week. I used frozen cauliflower, which was easy because I didn't have to do this whole part. But what I didn't like was one, I had to wait till it thawed. And two, because it comes in a bag, it's a bunch of like tiny pieces. And that's annoying to like dip and fry, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, no, next time I'm just gonna use a whole head of cauliflower and just cut it up myself. Cause then you can control how big the pieces are. Okay, now that we have all of our cauliflower cut up into bite-sized pieces, now we're gonna start to coat them. So first you're gonna take one, dip it into the wet batter. Then you're gonna dip it into your dry batter. Then back into the wet batter. And then back into the dry batter. You don't have to do it twice. It just depends on how much breading you like on your little nuggets. I like a pretty like thick coating and I tried it with just one, I tried it with two and I tried it with three, but I just feel like two is like perfect. Three was way too much and one wasn't enough. So I definitely like two to coat it twice. That's perfect. Did it once, now back into the wet mixture. Back into the dry mixture. Then set it aside. Definitely make sure you already have your oil in your pan ready to go. So once you get all your cauliflower coated, then you could just throw it into the pan. Once your cauliflower is nice and brown, you wanna make sure you take them out and sit them on a napkin to drain the grease off. 
and then you're done. Serve them with whatever kind of dipping sauce you like. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so when I post a video next week, you'll be notified. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next week. Bye. We're going to take the cauliflower as I knock down lights for the first time. <laughs>